Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Here we are, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Space, the final frontier. I am Captain Frank Lee English, and these are the voyages of the starship HMSS Imperialize. Our mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Rousing stuff, Captain English, sir. <laughs> you really think so? I was afraid it would sound a little bit cliched. Uh, the last thing I'd want would be for anyone listening to think that was going to be representative of the quality of all our dialogue throughout this entire voyage. Perhaps it's best not to heighten expectations too early on, Boyo. Yes, Jones. A healthy dose of self-deprecation should neutralize the mildly xenophobic nature of the mission we've been tasked with by Her Majesty, Queen of Great Britain and of the Commonwealth Realms. Yeah, so long as we can avoid resorting to trite nationalistic jokes, we should be fine. Yes, I absolutely agree, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Well, I'm past. Who's for tea? Jones, as your commanding officer, I'm ordering you to go make me a cup of tea. Two sugars. And go easy on the milk. I'll need it for my Weetabix in the morning. I don't think they provided us with milk, boyo. Just the powdered stuff. Curse this lack of lactation! Very well. You stay here at the controls, Jones, while I navigate to the ship's kitchen facilities to acquire a refreshing beverage. The walk will give me the chance to familiarize myself with the intuitive navigation system. Can you grab us a cup too? Certainly, Jones. It will be my pleasure, and as good a reason as any to practice using the intuitive inventory system. I'll be on my way now. Just as soon as I choose to exit this chair. I appear to have activated some sort of context-sensitive menu. I should select the appropriate option illustrated by these exquisite icons. Now, to find the kitchen. If memory serves me correct, it's just down this corridor, beyond the fourth wall. The animators rather we leave it on. Less things to move.
to start cutting just yet? <clears throat> it's for my uh, Rosie Lee. Sorry. Cockney crockery. It's Alad's mug, isn't it? Your prime directives. I'll just get piping hot tea all over my hands, and I didn't enjoy that the first time. Why? It's packed to the rafters with mild English cheddar. Plenty to share. Feeling rather peckish. That settled it. I'm going gluten free when I get back to Old Blighty. Mild green washing up liquid. Surely you can't be serious. It's a popular household brand of washing up liquid. It really takes the misery out of making tea. It really takes the misery out of making tea. There's been a slight infestation. The lower decks are on lockdown. Best stow this for now. I would do well to study these closely in case of an emergency, like we're stranded immobile in space.
Any danger of making that tea, Boyo? Awfully sorry for the delay. Never mind, Boyo. How did you manage to carry it in there without spilling any? Well, I've just been very careful. Ever since that whole Deepwater Horizon incident. Oh, <laughs> terribly sorry. I appear to have given you my cup. What? But that's disgusting. It's got just saliva over it and everything. That is totally against health and safety. I think you're overreacting. It's got just saliva on it, but it's like we've been kissing. That is like sexual harassment as well. Good heavens! What a waste of perfectly good tea. I think we should be more concerned about the irreparable damage done to the ship's steering system. Both problems, by the way, are your fault. You know, in various cultural and religious ceremonies, the symbolism behind sharing a cup is quite unifying. Regardless, we'll have plenty of time to argue about this now that we're stranded. Unless, of course, we can replace the controls with something else. When you say we... I mean the royal we. I'll sort this out. Don't move. I don't want you dribbling on anything else. Honestly, you're worse than the elderly. Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Aye, boyo. Surely it would take more than a splash of Earl Grey to halt this ship. The zenith of British aeronautical engineering! You could always give the control column a quick alternating input along the x-axis, just to ascertain if it is indeed no longer functional. You mean jiggle the joystick left and right? Isn't that what I said? Would you like me to go find you a towel to dry off? No rush, boyo. I'm enjoying this warm, moist sensation. Reminds me of simpler times huddled in my mother's womb. Gosh, I can hardly remember what I was doing five minutes ago, let alone during my embryonic youth. Well, it was a lot longer ago for you, boyo. Hey, I'm still down with the kids. Chillax Holmes. <laughs> me and my crew keeping it radical, man. OMG, feel totes orky for you. Your sister's studying in Swansea. Been down recently? Not to visit her. A few of us went camping around the Gower, though. It's lovely the further out to the city you go. Yes. The further the better. Don't mind me. to be stuck. With great power comes great responsibility. It specifically says no rustling. I can't use these two together. It might fit Allard's dainty hand. 
I have a bit more girth. Without the right tools for the job, I'm not risking it. Uh, I'm prone to stage fright with an audience. It's, it's all right, I, I went before we left. Mercifully, the ultra-absorbent litter goes somewhere to mask the odour. Somewhere. Uh, not all the way. It might fit Allard's dainty hand. I have a bit more girth. The depravity that goes through some people's minds. I'll have to take a closer look at these safety instructions for peace of puzzle. I mean, mind. Peace of mind. <laughs> Why, the humble paperclip. A staple of any adventure gamer's inventory. I doubt combining these two will prove to be particularly useful. Oh my! Well, either we've got one big cat somewhere on board, or something particularly large is being concealed. I'm sure there's a more practical use for this. Presumably the manufacturer opted for shards of metal as opposed to goose down. Of course, it lacks the precision of a mouse and keyboard. Appears to be something stuck in the drive. Gosh, no matter how many times I keep clicking on things, this drive won't become unblocked. I'll have to think of something else. Let's see if prodding this around fixes anything. Aha! 1.44 megabytes of virgin digital space. It's empty, lacking in substance. They said the same thing about this script. Three and a half inches. It's compact, but still large enough to grip. That's the radio wave oven. 
It's the same idea as a conventional microwave oven, except while your meal is cooking, you can listen to the cricket on Radio 5. Of course, in England, they'd call it a hoover.